the weekend it um there was a bit of an issue a bit of but a bit of a a bit of a negative reaction concerning a party that took place in berlin at else else is one of the only venues open at the moment in berlin there's not a few there's not a lot of them most of i think most nightclubs are closed dancing is illegal so the way that clubs and bars are getting around it is by hosting these open air parties that are essentially you know hosted in the courtyard garden the area of a bar um socially distanced to some extent but mostly based on the numbers that they allow in the wearing of face covering and mask on the dance floor to prevent any transmission but the obviously the as the kind of thinking behind it is that um the virus doesn't spread as easily in the outdoors as it does indoors. So there is some kind of uh, thinking behind it that makes some sort of sense, right? So um, Else has been running this whole series of open air festivals and open air parties during the entirety of summer. And for the most part, they've gone away. They've gone out without a hitch. I think there's been a couple that people have been having some negative reactions to. But so far, there's been no real outcry online, especially within the people who are bashing the business techno people or who are sort of ascribing ill intent to these plague raves that are happening at the moment. And um, But it seems like the one that happened just this, this past weekend has garnered the worst reaction so far that I've seen online. So much so that um, somebody called Mikhaili, Mikhail, who's um i think one of the people that was involved in boiler room back in the day he was a host one of the people that was involved in you know pushing back the crowd and they're getting a bit too aggy and you know pushing up on the dj too much he uploaded an image or a video sorry on twitter um kind of displaying a very rowdy crowd going absolutely crazy to the sounds of surikin playing on that night along with some other djs and people online have kind of very, very negative reaction to it. So this is his tweet. He says, last night in Berlin, Els Club, by now it's clear that a lot of people just don't give a shit. Let's play a bit of sound. You obviously hear that fast, booming techno stuff that you hear people like Serikin and Hector Oaks and what's her name? Clara Kuv and SPFF DJ. It's a sort of hipstery techno sound that's going on at the moment that everyone seems to love. I but for some reason, a lot of the people in the industry who are kind of against uh, maybe it's celebrity, I'm going to say celebrity culture. I don't know what it is, but there is a, obviously a, a big dislike for some of these sounds and people involved in it. Maybe it's because of the people involved in it are dickers behind the scenes. I have no idea. I live in London, don't know these people personally. But from what I see, from are looking at, I think it's a bit undeserving. You look at some of the comments underneath. Um, da 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 da. What he's saying here, so many people have been signing into my DMs, both with the accusations to be a class traitor and also pointing out that the current regulations allow the foregoing of minimum distance when outside. This is only, this is not, this is to my knowledge confirmed by multiple event producers, not a, a possible interpretation of the code, especially because the masses of sweaty ravers rubbing against each other is the exact opposite of the pr protective measures against the droplet infections. If someone has, however, an alternate interpretation they want to lay out or even a, whatever that word is, approved hygiene concept that allows that sweaty ravers in mask i apologize and shut up i doubt however that is someone will so of course there's a there's a camp of people who believe that no one should be raving under any circumstances during COVID 19 but there's also this aspect of an understanding there should be an understanding that the industry should be allowed to move on and to operate in some level uh, with some regulations especially when you consider the absolute bullshit job some of, most governments have done in terms of handling covid and obviously uh, uh, allowing for some sort of protection and support system for the places that are most vulnerable to the shutdowns and to the restrictions which are the bars and nightlife places um some of the other responses have been not as great it says neither the racism nor the corona will stop them dancing someone else says here i see it's outside they are wearing masks absolutely law-abiding what's your problem the police has got none and and again, what were you doing there side by outraging for clout? Stay home then. He said the following outside in mass does not allow for circumvent the 1.5 distance rule and read the thread, especially the part regarding the interpretation and potential of the current hygiene code. Not sure what you want from me, though. He says continues on here. Someone else says, so what were you doing there? The day is a nice try, but with the exception of the afternoon brunch and one social distance event, I haven't left the house much due to the accident related immune deficiency um okay that's why he's so uh, triggered by it he says this video was pulled straight from one of the users ig account the morning after so my point of view with it would be most of the stick that these people are getting 
especially Serekin and a few others, is mostly because people don't like them. I guess with Serekin, it's easy to hate her because of some of the things that happened at the beginning of the lockdown, which I'm not going to rehash. It's not worth even getting into. But most of it, in my opinion, was to do with people just being at home and frustrated. And she was a bit of an easy target, especially with some of the, you know, social faux pas that she might have put a foot in some things. But of course, musically, I think there is also a bit of snobbery involved. I would say snobbery. Is it cultural snobbery? I'm not sure what it is, but I do see a bit of a difference when videos come out online of people, DJs, performers, individuals in the scene who peep, who the kind of, yeah, there, there seems to be a different response when certain people host play graves and other people host play graves. When the tech house people host play graves, everyone comes out and bashes them, right? Because they're easy target. But then when people within their own little scene host play graves or do warehouse parties under the guise of some sort of, you know, fundraising event, no one has anything to say. So it does seem to be one rule for one and one rule for other, which I completely understand. If your friends are, you know, living on the breadline, they weren't necessarily touring DJs prior to COVID and they have to play a gig wearing a mask and a face shield somewhere just to keep the lights on. I understand why your expectation of them and expectation of the mini lens will be different. But I think you should be viewing, you should be able to judge and immediately lens and your friend playing on NTS the same way. It shouldn't be judged any differently. That's my opinion personally. And then going forward with this, I also think there's aspects of it. Um, if the German government has allowed for some places or the Berlin government allowed for some places to function as an open air venue, especially when at else, they have this really amazing article that I recommend people check out that was uh put up there by a resident advisor some would argue it was propaganda but from what i read it was a pretty honest take um as to how it how else is functioning during you know covid19 and what they're doing in order to make it as safe as possible it's called perspectives from the scene featuring sebastian voigt the booker at else and it goes into some detail as to what goes into making sure that they put on a very successful event at the club itself and i really recommend most people checking it out because it does seem like the people involved in putting that party together really care about the scene and are trying their best to provide a safe as they can platform and place for people to go to number one the ravers to kind of go and you know let their let their hair down and have a bit of a dance and of course providing opportunity for the DJs themselves to play I'm sure you're not going to find most DJs who are playing on else complaining about being booked on a Sunday to play a daytime rave somewhere and put some money in their pocket they have no complaints the people actually attending the rave who are able to kind of leave their apartments for you know most of the day between the hours of 2 and 10 p.m have a bit of a dance and a drink with their friends won't be complaining either it's the ones on the outside who are fundamentally against anybody you know going outside and returning to some level of normality with this virus still in circulation who have the most to say about it which is understandable too you look at this mckaylee guy um who says he has some you know um health reasons that are preventing him from going outdoors in the first place so he's a little bit more conscious and aware and sensitive to what's going on but i don't think that prism or that idea or that pov should be applied to others Again, we're in 2020, we're approaching 2021. Most governments have dealt with COVID you know, haphazardly in a very reckless and somewhat off, especially in the UK, right? Very hands-offish type of way. And, you know, so much so that there's rumors of a tier four being introduced here in the UK. Um, parts of Spain have gone under lockdown. Italy has enforced, like, enforced curfew again. There's so many really bad ways of approaching COVID-19 that I don't, that I somehow understand why certain industries, certain establishments, certain business owners are taking matters into their own hands. And I get it. Do I support it fully? Would I want to put myself at risk and go to these events? Probably not. But I understand why some people would want to do so. And I guess it's unfair to not, it's unfair to ascribe your way of looking at things and how you would want to operate to everybody else. I think if you make the decision to stay indoors and you're happy to do so, do it. The people that want to go out and rave, let them do so. If they put themselves at risk, it is what it is. I don't think they're doing any different. They're not causing any much damage to anybody else going to a bar, going to a restaurant or going to a supermarket at this point in time. I don't believe those numbers or those facts to be true. But hey, what do I know?